PD reports. This website presents everything I learned about how chewing gum was invented when I was doing research for a report in Miss Kluski's class. Maybe it will give you something to chew on. Hello, I'm John B. Curtis, and I invented chewing gum. Greetings, I'm Tom Adams, and I invented chewing gum. I study the ways people make gum out of tree sap and wax. I experimented with a tree sap called Chickle to see if I could use it instead of rubber to make rain boots, toys, and bicycle tires. The evidence from his experiments proved that Chickle was good for only one thing, chewing gum. So I made gum from Chickle called Blackjack. It tasted like licorice. And now I will demonstrate how to blow a bubble. The first flavored gum was called Blackjack. Bubble gum is pink because that was the only food color around when it was invented. Gum doesn't stay in your stomach if you swallow it. Chewing gum is the world's most common habit. Gum is not allowed in Singapore unless you get it from your doctor. The first kind of bubble gum was called Blibber Blubber. The first flavored gum was called Blackjack. Early American settlers made gum from tree sap and beeswax. The first gum was sold by John B. Curtis. It was called State of Maine Pure Spruce Gum and made from sap and wax. Chickle was introduced to Tom Adams by a Mexican general named Antonio de Santa Ana. Tom Adams tried to make rain boots and bicycle tires out of Chickle. He failed and kept trying for 10 years before giving up. Tom Adams was inspired to make gum. Instead of throwing away all the chickle he bought, he sold pieces of Adams New York number no. 1 gum for one penny each. John Colgan invented a way to make flavor last longer. Tutti Fruity gum was sold in vending machines. The first bubble gum, called Blubber Blubber, was invented by Frank Fleer. Ingredients. Gum base, like chickle. Softener, like wax. Peppermint flavor. Or improvise using whatever flavors you have to come up with a new flavor. Sweetener, like sugar. Prepare the gum base, the thing that makes it chewy. Add flavor, sweetener, and softener to the gum base. Clean and melt the mixture in a steam cooker. Pump the gum through a machine to cut it into pieces. Package the pieces of gum with other machines. Word bones. Demonstrate. To demonstrate is to explain or describe something by showing examples. Chickle. Chickle is the sap from a sapodilla tree. Prepare. When you prepare something, you get it ready. Ingredient. An ingredient is one of the things that goes into a mixture. <laughs> study. When you study, you try to learn things. <laughs> Evidence. Evidence is something that shows that an idea is true.
Quizmo. When you're explaining or describing something by showing examples, you are planning, demonstrating, playing. <laughs> That's right. To demonstrate is to explain or describe something by showing examples. If you want to make a cake, you get ready by getting all the things you need. When you get ready, you prepare, study, read. That's right. When you prepare something, you get it ready. When people try to learn about something by reading, looking at things carefully, or listening to their teachers, they are fixing, testing, studying. You got it. When you study, you try to learn things. People usually study by reading, looking at things carefully, or listening to teachers. If you're trying to create a new type of bubble gum, what should you gather before you begin to make it? Quarters, debris, ingredients. You got it. An ingredient is one of the things that goes into a mixture. When you're investigating something to resolve a problem, it's important to present facts to show that your idea is true. What are these facts called? Plans, evidence, ingredients. You got it. Evidence is something that shows that an idea is true. When you study something carefully in order to find out information about it, you are doing research, inventing. Improvising. You got it. When you research, you study something a lot in order to find out information about it. In a science project, when you want to show whether something is true or correct, you want to test it, fix it, prove it. Not quite. When you prove something, you show that it is true or correct. In a science project, when you want to show whether something is true or correct, you want to fix it, test it, prove it. That's right. When you prove something, you show that it is true or correct. When you finish with an experiment, it's important to write about your discoveries so you can share it with other people. This is called a test, a report. Blubber blubber. That's right. A report is something that is said or written that gives information about something. When you're making something and you have an idea of what you'd like to make, but you don't have a clear plan, what is this kind of process called? Improvising, organizing, cleaning. Not quite. When you improvise, you make something from whatever materials are around. When you're making something and you have an idea of what you'd like to make, but you don't have a clear plan, what is this kind of process called? Organizing, cleaning, improvising. <laughs> That's right. When you improvise, you make something from whatever materials are around.